Hi everybody, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Rarely have I agreed with Dr. Fauci more than when he said this. Now, Dr. Fauci has been the face of the United States COVID-19 pandemic response over the last 18 months. In fact, in many ways, he's been the face of the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic response. People all over the globe have heard about him and many, many people across different nations are listening to what he has to say. Judging by the comments that I receive, I would say that there is a split between people who view what Dr. Fauci says as gospel truth, he's almost Saint Fauci, and then there's other people who are more critical of him. And I would say that this is probably reflected within the medical community itself, and that is to be expected in a medical or scientific field. People will not always agree with each other, and there is no one person who has a monopoly on the right way of doing things. Nevertheless, Dr. Anthony Fauci is extremely experienced in his field. He's been in infectious diseases for many decades. And I want to show you here something he said back in 2019, only two years ago on the David Rubenstein show. And the best way for me to prevent getting an infectious disease and having to have you as my doctor is what? Um, wearing a mask. No, um, no, no. How many you do that? <laughs> you, um, if somebody's, I can see they're ready, ready to sneeze or cough, you, walk away. You avoid all the paranoid aspects and okay. do something positive. A, good diet. B, you don't smoke, I know. I know you don't drink, at least not very much, so that's pretty good. Get some exercise. I know that you don't get as much exercise as yes, you should. That's correct. Get good sleep. I think that the normal low-tech healthy things okay. are the best thing that you can do, David, is stay healthy. All right, well, I'm going to try to do that, and hopefully when I next see you, I will be even healthier than I am today. I, I would imagine you would be, and I look forward to that. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Bye. That is music to my ears as a physician who practices lifestyle medicine. The four key mantras to remember are, number one, a healthy, well-balanced, nutritious diet. Number two, a good exercise program. Those two things are more likely to lead you into being in the best possible shape. Number three, an adequate amount of sleep. And number four, working on any stress in your life. Those are the four key fundamentals of trying your best to optimize your immune and metabolic health. And in fact, if somebody was to hold a weapon to my head and say, Dr. Dand, tell people the one thing that will help with their immune and metabolic health the most, I would say just that, to do your best to practice good, healthy lifestyle medicine. And certainly that doesn't mean that you don't do all of the other public health measures. All of those things can have an additive effect. But what I'm saying is if I was to choose only one, that would be it. Now that does come with a caveat that does get more difficult with increasing age at advanced age or anyone who's unfortunate enough to suffer with any comorbidities, that may be very difficult. But for most people out there, this is the one factor which is most in our control. We talk a lot in the medical field about optimizing other aspects of our health like cardiovascular health, respiratory health, but we don't talk anywhere nearly enough about immune and metabolic health. The sad fact is that in most Western countries, we have witnessed soaring rates of being overweight and obese over the last few decades. And this has not happened by accident. It hasn't happened because our genetics have suddenly changed over the last 50 years or so. It has happened because as a society, we consume the wrong types of food, too much junk food, and we are way too sedentary. Having excess body fat has been scientifically proven to be a significant immune suppressant and also places an unnatural stress on the lungs during a time of need. And think about this, what have we done as a society over the last 18 months since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic? We have gone the opposite way. People are eating more junk food and they are more sedentary. What a mistake to make. And we are seeing this reflected in the numbers, including worryingly soaring rates of obesity in children now. What on earth are we thinking as a society? This was a tremendous missed opportunity, also from the medical establishment. I know we were very busy and I'm not under any illusions here. I know that we aren't magically going to reverse this trend. It's very difficult to address. But if it was up to me, this message would have been shouted out from the rooftops in amongst everything else. 
please do your best to maintain and optimize your immune and metabolic health. And if this wasn't a good time to do it, then there never will be. And think about all of the downstream effects as well, how much it could potentially help with other conditions which are soaring like diabetes and heart disease. A sad reality of where we're at in 2021 is that there are entire industries which don't want us to be a well, healthy society. They profit from us eating junk food, from being as sedentary as possible, and also emotionally and mentally unwell, as stressed and anxious as possible. That is the truth of where we're at. And it is hard to fight against all of these forces which want to keep us this way. And when I'm suggesting a public health message, I'm not saying that we should get up into people's face and talk about this. We can absolutely do this sensitively while gently reinforcing how important it is to be addressing our baseline immune and metabolic health through healthy lifestyle medicine. If I was to tell you honestly what I have witnessed since the beginning of COVID-19, I would put obesity in the top three risk factors for getting severely ill from the illness after advanced age and other comorbidities. It is right up there. And again, this is the factor which is most in our control. My goal as a lifestyle medicine physician is for you to be as healthy and happy as possible. I want you to not have to see me. I know that may seem like a strange thing for a doctor to say, but I know the reality that people will always get sick and need doctors, but the healthier and happier you are, the happier I will be personally. And in fact, one of the best feelings I get as a physician is when I see a patient adopt the right dietary and exercise regimen, they lose weight, and several months or a year later, they don't even need their medications anymore, whether it's a medicine for diabetes or blood pressure, their glucose has improved, their blood pressure has improved, and we get to tear up their script. They no longer need it anymore. That feeling for me as a physician is bloody brilliant. You only have one body. It is your temple, so please do your best to treat it very well. And coming back to Dr. Fauci's comments again, I know he has been a very busy individual with lots of things to focus on, but every so often it would have been really nice over the last 18 months to hear this message again. I do believe it's something we need to hear. We can totally do a lot for our own immune and metabolic baseline health. Thank you everyone for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, Medstoic Lifestyle Medicine. Remember those four things for the rest of the week. A healthy, well-balanced, nutritious diet, an exercise program, get adequate sleep, and work on any stress in your life. We'll speak again very soon.